Ja, hallo, dit is Jan, reporting from uh, Superboot in Berlin for Gear Sluts. And I'm here with André from Adax Systems. And um, he has some new modules out for his uh, high quality Eurorack system. Uh, and he can tell something about that. Hi, Gear Sluts. So, we brought a few new meters modules. So, we have uh, both audio meters with 11 LEDs and a bypass through. We have the old style VU meters for audio as well. Then we have a cheap oscilloscope type of thing, so two channels also buffered uh, from minus five to plus five. And the current meter that it's plugged to the PSU and it's measuring the current of the system. Mm -hmm. Then we also brought the new electroharmonics, the Mel9, so the Melotron syn synthesis engine with uh yeah so it's it's so it's a, it's a mellotron uh, it's a mellotron synthesized sound so they nice. they based the 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 synthesis on the mellotron typical mellotron sounds like the the clarinet the the saxophone the choirs the orchestra the strings the cello the flute but then obviously not pieces of tape but no. but as an oscillator yeah. tuned to that sound no, it's actually it's actually reading from the inputs, so it's a oh. it detects pitch in a yeah. polyphonic way, yeah. and then it sends it out with a mellotron sound. Okay. And it's basically the air pedal, but with voltage controlled everything, and some mix output, so you can mix between dry and wet mm -hmm. signals. It also has a dedicated effect, and it has a three input. so you can plug three oscillators straight into it, and you don't need a mixer before. And it actually has a also, the mix from the input has an output, so it, ah. it can be like a small mixer. Uh, yeah, to, 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 without accessing the mellotron sound. Yeah, so you can have the yeah. pure sound as well that you're sending in if you're using the mixer. Then there's this tube bandpass filter. Yeah. And it's uh, Gwath Harman's uh, tubas that he has had released a few years ago, but he stopped making them. And uh, I like it so much that we just talked to him and are bringing it back. So we brought back the filter, the bandpass tube filter with a few more additions to it, like a dry wet mix and phase inversions on the outputs like we have in all our filters. Uh -huh. And this is uh, with a, um, a miniature Russian tube, right? Yes, yes, yeah. those small yeah. tubes. The military uh, tube. Voltage, yeah. Okay. And then, yeah, this is our new full stereo mixer. So it comes, it's actually 80 HP. There's 58 VCAs inside. There's, the, it comes with two different panels. So one just for the control, so your hands are totally free to operate it. And one just for the jack input. It, so it's, it's a separate patch panel. Exactly, really. so you can even put the jack panel elsewhere in your rack yeah. and have your hands and your console panel totally available for your hands. And it's a fully CVable. Yeah. Pretty much okay. everything. There's going to be an expansion as well, and uh, an optional case with a power supply because it takes about one amp on each rail. So, yeah. But it has pretty much everything that you may need as a mixer, besides EQ, because it's a modular system. You can get the EQ elsewhere. And filters. Yeah. Okay. But you have like a phase inversion per channel. You can you walk us uh, through the the structure of the mixer yeah. quickly. So the Every channel has a phase inversion, and you can choose between synth and line level. Because you also have a stereo 3.5 millimeter jack input, so you can plug your computer straight to it, or an iPad, or whatever device you want to plug through it, and it brings it back to synth level. It also features the left and right input, a CV for volume and panning, and the mono output, which is a stereo sum. So if you're putting right. a stereo input, it sums it to mono, and you can actually choose here if it's a pre or post uh, fader. Right. You have three sends, stereo, mm -hmm. stereo sends, with pre, post per each, with the switches. There's dedicated attenuverters for the volume and the panning, LEDs for the panning visualization, clickless mutes, uh, Three LEDs monitor, which is green up to 5 volt, yellow when you start amplifying, so up to 10, and red just before clipping, so at 10 volts is the red yeah. comes on. Yeah. There's also a switch for choosing between Q, 
to go to the cue master or the mix master or shut it down in, in the middle and then you use it just with the sends. Right. So this is replicated in five channels and then you have the three master send outputs with LEDs also as well to check the left and right signals. The three returns and the returns can be routed to the queue or to the mix right. master. There's the attenuverters to control the VCAs of both the sends and the returns. Ah, that's important. Because then you can overdrive things yeah. and lower them in volume yeah, after. I forgot to about that because all these channels are amplification, the amplification goes to 2.5. So you can distort them ah. here and then, of course, route yeah. it somewhere and, and bring it, it back yeah. to volume. Yeah. Which, is, which is nice. Yeah. yeah. Very, very There's nice. also like this, this one matrix strip that all the main outputs are going here and you can make a sub-sub mix of all the main outputs. So you can choose between sends and returns, one, two, and three. You have the queue and the master, and the matrix also has this master volume yeah. and an eternal inverter here. Oh, yeah. Then we have the queue and the, volume, the master volumes with eternal inverters as well for the VCA. And their own uh, separate uh, metering. Yeah, and the meters with uh, two more LEDs than the previous ones. Yes. And also the Q, we added this Q and mix with the balance of the Q. So if you're pre-listening with the Q, you can mix a little bit of the master so you have a better notion of what's happening. Right. And there's also this one knob that you can send at any point. You can send the Q submix into the master. Yeah. So it routes the submix of the Q into the master. Which is uh, sort of bypassing all the effects outsends. Yes. 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 Very and nice. Also, the last one is the headphone strip with two parallel outputs and switches so that you can choose what source or what master source you want to listen to. So the send returns, cue and master with a dedicated volume. Which is important if you're playing live because... Exactly, and if you want to see exactly what's going on yep. with your send or what's happening with the return because the pedal is off or whatever. So you have like uh, all these functions to... Um, all, all your models have a, have a reputation of being high quality, also oh, in sound. Thanks. Yeah, well, I've heard it from people. Uh, right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I want to ask you for this mixer, uh, what is the headroom and what is the noise floor? Did you did yeah. you measure this? We're getting, we're using, for all the VCAs, we, we're using all the good chips. Yeah. So this SSM based uh, the VCA chips. And, um, 2106? And yeah. Ah, okay. Oh, 2164. Oh, all right. Okay. So it's there's, I think, 16 chips of those inside. Mm -hmm. Plus we have other VCAs just for the control of pannings. But right. but the audio signal only goes through the SSMs. Right. So the other the LMs. Yeah, the we, other is we, for control. Right. It's just for control. Yeah. Okay. And um, and yeah, we're still in, in terms of headroom. We're still limited to the power supply. And the clipping of the, of course, the, all those VCAs. But you're you're going to give give uh, to sell a power supply yourself. Yes, but we wanted to make it compatible with a Eurorack uh, PSU because even if you have more space, you can put more filters around here or something, and you can still use the same PSU. Yeah. So and 12 volt has a limited uh, yeah. headroom. So yeah. we're always limited to that. Right. But being a summing mixer, you can always bring the volumes a little bit. Lower and uh, yeah. adjust it with uh, yeah, the gain staging controls. Yeah. Uh, what about pricing and availability? Okay, so for the mixer, we already have uh, approximate calculation. It's going to be about 1,400 euro. Yeah, is that with or without fat or without uh, without without oh, fat? Okay, yeah. Uh, but for foreign countries, there's no there's no VAT, so. There's no VAT, yeah. The, the frame will be optional and we still don't have the calculations either for the frame or the expansions, but the mixer is going to be about 1,400. And the availability, we're already accepting pre-orders right. and it's going to be out the first the first small batch. We always do a first small batch. It's going to be out total, like two months stops. Okay. And now we have a production system in-house. So, so before can, the summer? It's yes. Nice. The first unit will be out before that. Because it's totally finished, like this PCB is finished. Yeah. It's just a matter of going back and start production. Then the, um, the filter is always going, also going to go to production fairly soon. Everything is finished as well. The Mel9 will take a little bit longer, just because 
other details, and the meters even even earlier. And, and the, the Melodyne, uh, what is the oh, price? The price uh, good. Sort of? It's going to be close to our organ machines as well, so right. 350, 60, something like that. Yeah. The Cube VCA or bandpass filter will be about uh, 300, and the, the the meters will be pretty cheap, and about so about maybe 60 to 100 euro. Yeah. And they're going to be available as DIY kits at Thunk as well. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. And um, well, looking forward to uh, hearing the full mixer in uh, in action somewhere. Sure. And um, okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks for watching.